All right. I have a new update to my settings video that I made days ago uh, because something has come across my little desktop that has revolutionized the way that I have my sim set up. So as you can see, uh, we look like poo poo, pee pee poo, poo poo pants in the gar er, <laughs> pee pee poo poo pants in the garbage. Uh, in the background here, mountains look like, uh, you know, as aforementioned, pee pee poo poo. And you might think, uh, you have an update to your settings? That doesn't look very updated. Well, you'd be wrong, dummy. Um, let me find my. We have dynamic LOD. I had auto FPS for 24, and I thought that was awesome, and it is. But for some reason, the dynamic LOD is beyond impressive as to what it does. Like, it does what I want, what I wanted auto FPS to do. Um, it's made by the same person, both of them, so... Um, and I love the little dog is the emblem. That's hilarious. It's just every who doesn't love a dog anyway. So this does what it says it does. Right now I've got um, zero feet AGL. I'm going to be on 15 TLOD, and everything in the airport loads fine. Whether it's an international or in this case Aspen, everything loads up fine. So it doesn't matter. And then once I hit 300 feet, we're going to 100 TLOD, so on and so forth. 1,000 feet, 250. 3,000 feet, 300. So, and it's super cool. You can put your feet here, um, not your dogs. Keep those in your socks. Um, you can put your feet AGL. Like, let's say I want it at 5,000 feet. I want to have 400 TLOD. I just hit that. Then I would hit add. And then it adds it down there. Um, but I do not want that. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter, but I kind of want to... I don't know how to take it out. Uh, anyway. Oh, I guess it's there. Um, the thing is, is I have a Ryzen 5 5600 and a 3060 Ti. Great, great setup. But I'm in... Let me show you my settings. Sorry, guys. Uh, we'll get into the flight soon. You can see how it works. I'm in 4K, dude. I'm on performance DLSS because I find that the higher resolution it is and the lower tier DLSS, it doesn't affect it that much at all. Uh, and it looks really good. But if you don't have that high of a monitor, I've got a TV. So, you know, fiddle with it yourself. Anyway, but right now our TLOD is at 15. That'll change. Um, this is one that I had on low for my last video because it helped a lot now i found that i can bump that up to medium and it it looks great i've got displacement mapping on buildings high trees high plants low rocks medium and grass ultra um, the olod will change as well i don't really care about that i just trust the program to do whatever I, I, get it out of my face i don't know quite what it does. It loads jetways in faster. Who cares? Uh, we're in Aspen, baby. Um, volumetric Clouds Ultra. And a lot of these other settings, if you look at the old one, I've bumped up, like, pretty good, you know? And it's because I can't, because of this little program. And let's take off, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. By the way, if you didn't watch my Learjet video, um, Basically, the gist of the video was this plane's super dope. So, look into that. Um, take it here at this next little entrance. But man, the lighting, the environment, everything in 24 looks so good. And actually, I'm gonna change the weather because I don't want the snow covering the ground. I want you to see how great it looks. Uh, da, 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 da. How do I change that? Let's go. Serious. It's not taking the snow off the ground though. That's weird. Do I have to make the temperature hot or something? Bring the snow up and then take it down. No. Um, 
sorry guys. Okay, there's just permanent snow here, I suppose. I know it takes a while to melt, but also this is a video game. Any oh, I can change the month, I know that works. There we go. Ew. So anyway, let's go. Man, 24 looks so good. I deleted actually both sims today. Um, I wanted to reinstall 2020 or 2024 to fix my, I, I thought somebody commented that deleting the sim and reinstalling it would fix uh, the CJ in the livery issue. Um, just a little warning, it does not. Not only does it not fix the CJ, it, it F words your S word up pretty good. And you gotta re-download all the stuff, yada yada. But I do think it's beneficial to have a fresh install. Um, but I deleted 2020, and I don't think I really have any need to re-download it. I've got my community folder still with all my schmutz in there, which I wanna keep for at least a little longer till you know, stuff gets more transferred over, but it's armor thrust reversed here. There we go. Big bonk. Let's kill our steering. There we go. Alright, let's go. Enough yapping. So, again, 15 TLOD. And, uh, we'll see it go up from there. Your speed is alive. 80 knots. 100. Rotate. I'm not sure exactly what the Learjet one is right now. But I know it climbs like a rocket. But anyway. So now, I don't want to bring the program in front because it's going to focus on that. But now we're at 250 on the TLOD just because of how fast the Learjet climbs. I was distracted, we were going really, really high up, but I mean, 60 frames a second, I'm maintaining. And this is higher settings than I had in the last video. Like, this is ridiculous, dude. And I have more, you know, whatever that setting's called, that kind of saves a cache of the environment, off-screen, terrain, pre-caching I guess is what it's called but all my stuff's upgraded and I found that this just works better than um, than auto FPS I couldn't tell you why I don't know but this just does I found this to be everything I was hoping to to find for 2024 so go download this right now I'll leave the, the link in the description and I've tried it with like the Airbus, I've tried it with all different kinds of stuff. All right, so now we're at 5,000 feet, 400 on my TLOD with my previous mentioned settings, or previous mentioned hardware, and I'm recording in 1440p. What in the world is happening, dude? This is weird, dude. Like, somebody pinch me. I'm in, you know, a simulator coma where I'm just having the time of my little simulator life. And yeah. But anyway, let's roll this Learjet. I mean, as you do. Ready? Let's get leveled out here. Alright, that's pretty good. Get some speed. Trim out here. And let's hit a roll. Narrow. Who am I, Bob Hoover? Look at that. And e, don't do it. There we go. I wonder if we could do a uh, like a backflip. You know what I mean? So let's get right up, do V and E, and then start pulling back. I don't see why not. Oh, we're gonna pull cheese. Let's do a little roll. This was a war bird at one point, wasn't it? The Legion. Negative cheese. <laughs> know what I mean? But look at this, dude. That's 
it's absolutely crazy. Like for my system, I never get this kind of stuff. I always see the YouTubers with 4090s and all this stuff. Get, I mean, just look at that. And it looks even better because I'm recording in 1440, but I'm playing in four freaking K, my friend. Uh, and if you're on a monitor, get a freaking TV. I don't understand monitors. Uh, if you're playing like mostly flight sim, get it. Who wants to play this game on a tiny little screen that drives me bananas? But obviously for every other game, I guess that's what you need. But anyway, I'm going to fart into this microphone. Give me a second, and then I'll end it after that. All right. Uh, that's all i got to say. And yeah, let's get a little couple beauty shots here. Aspen and the Learjet. Just farting in the microphone. We're living life, man, you know? Like, get the head tracking. Look at that! Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm getting feral, dude. I feel like I've I've tricked Microsoft into, you know, uh, I've, I'm having my way with them right now. Just, I mean... God bless, dude. Thank you, Lord. I can play in this sort of setup, you know. But, I mean, just spectacular. 24 is becoming my favorite sim, while also just enraging me at random points, because it's still new. We're still figuring it out, but uh, that's it, man. Uh, leave the link. Go download this. And I'll leave Auto FPS's link. Uh, download them both. Certain scenarios, you're going to want one, you're going to want the other. Uh, please, please, please check out Islands and Pilots video on both of these. I'll link those as well. That guy's my favorite YouTuber. I mean, in general. <laughs> Not even in the flight sim world. Just in general. That guy helps me so much. It's insane. Like, I get most of my information from him and then adjust it to what my settings are and share that with you guys. I always try to give him credit, but dude, that guy freaking rocks, dude. So go check out Island Sim Pilot. Uh, he does in-depth videos on both of these. I'll link those, and I will link uh, Auto FPS and uh, Dynamic LLO or TLOD. So God bless you. Have a great day. Hope you liked my fart. Goodbye.